Okay, so what features can you expect on here? First of all, of course, you have a battery, not solar, which is not that important. I think the battery in this will last a long time or else Casio would not be making this with just a battery if they thought that the average user is going to run the battery out after just a few weeks of use. So I really don't think that people need to cry too much that there's no solar in this. What can you do with this that you can't do with an average watch? Well, quite a lot. You can press and hold this button for five seconds until it goes round to memory. When it's gone to memory, when it's working, but when this works, it will remember where you are. Now, when I try it, it comes up error. But when it's working, you can then press it a second time when you've gone to where you are going, it will go indicate, and when it's working, it will say OK. And it will then indicate with the second hand which way to walk and how far away it is. Check out my camping channel, Tony Hobbs, for camping videos and south is over in that direction. And this time it doesn't appear to be messed up with the tripod. The other feature your GGB100 does, which your GWG2000 does not do. So this watch also gives you your sunrise and sunset. And you can change the date by pressing the down button. What can we get from this? Which one should you get? Right, well, if you want to save over 300 pounds, get this one. If you want a watch that gets you back to where you started from as the crow flies, get this one. If you want a watch that will log your start position and tell you how far you've walked and how high you've walked, get this one. If you want a watch that tells you how many steps you've walked, get this one. If you want a watch that is 10 grams lighter, get this one. As I keep saying, and I'll just say the same thing, if you have a smart watch of any description, then there's probably little point and getting the B100. But if you don't have a smart watch and you just want a rugged watch, then the B100 is definitely worth looking at. Otherwise, if you have the money and you just want something that just gives you the basic functions, then the GWG 2000 is worth looking at. So for most people who want a G-Shock, the G GB100 and with that you get little pink lips you get little kissy pink lips <laughs> as opposed to the GWG2000 that literally wants to take your arm off <laughs> God, I hope some of you have got a bloody sense of humour out there you're watching the wrong channel if you haven't. So that's my very brief rundown, my very brief daft, probably not brief, rundown of why you should get the B100 and not the GWG2000. It's a smart watch without being smart. If you enjoyed this daft, video make sure to subscribe notification button and we will see you again <laughs>